Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, my business partner, Art Kirsch, and I are with the fabulous Manny Pacheco of Forgotten Hollywood fame. Manny, good to see you. Well, it's good to see you guys. Glad to be back. And uh, what's our, what we're going to talk about this. Well, I, I have a question for you, fabulous, Mr. Fabulous, uh, Manny Pacheco. Um, I was thinking about um, an, animation, which everybody thinks is relatively new, and I guess it is, but the, the granddaddy, if you will, in my mind and a lot of people's minds is um, uh, Dick Van Dyke in uh, Mary Poppins when he's dancing around with the little right. animals and stuff like that. Uh, Famous, but that's yeah. Yeah, really an animation in various forms goes back a ways, doesn't it? Well, if you're talking about animation with live action, many people think that they're separate. You know, the animation's one side and you got Disney mm -hmm. and you've got others. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you got all Warner Brothers and the Looney Tunes and all that. Right. And then Hanna-Barbera. But but on the other side, you got, of course, the the movies with the with the live action actors. But the co-mingling of the two really stretches back, I would say, uh, back into the mid 30s when Walt Disney decided that he was going to model Snow White after the famous dancer Marge Champion of Marge uh, and Gower Champion fame, they actually um, took her moves and, and, and they would actually take those moves and they would draw around those moves. And so that what you're watching on with Snow White is actually the movement of Marge Champion. Really? And uh, really? yeah, and, and that's something that she's very well known for. That was one of her most famous, that, that put her on the map as well as the fact that she could perform choreography very nicely. So that, it starts with that. And Disney really was the champion. It's funny you mentioned Dick Van Dyke and, and the Penguins and Mary Poppins. That's a Disney thing. But they were already well immersed into that. Mm -hmm. I mean, all you got to do is look at Fantasia and that great scene with Mickey Mouse, you know, and uh, with the buckets and the, and the yes. water. And at the very end, you got Stravinsky ready to perform the next thing. And here comes Mickey in the shadows yeah. wanting to shake Stravinsky's hand. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, they always like to commingle this idea of, of you know, live action with uh, the whole animated thing. And, and, you know, it wasn't just Disney. I mean, one of the most famous was, of course, um, Jerry the Mouse dancing with Gene Kelly and I believe Anchors Away. That famous dance scene that yes. is just absolutely tremendous. Yeah, now that was not a Disney film, was it? No, no. Is that twentieth century? No, it's an MGM musical. Of if, course. If it's if it's Gene Kelly, it's MGM. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> of course. And yeah. it's a musical, and and Tom, and believe it or not, Tom and Jerry were the cartoon du jour for MGM. So it was mm -hmm. easy to grab their cartoon character and yep. put them in a movie. Yeah. And well, it's yeah, well, because they they were under contract. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Even the mouse. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, that it was a really wonderfully memorable scene. But as you can see, we're talking about the movement of the animals to choreography. Yeah. But there are others that actually played very, very well in non-choreographic moments. And I think the most famous, and I think when I say this, I'm going to see both your heads going, oh, of course. And that's Don Knotts in the incredible oh, Mr. Mr. Limpet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, you're right. What a just wonderful, uh, yeah. uh, uh, the amalgamation of, 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 of live action with, with, uh, with animation. Oh, it's so lovely. It's funny. Yeah. It plays to perfection. And those scenes with Don Knotts as the fish and Jack Weston as the live action character are just absolutely right. priceless. Uh, they're great, yeah. Hey, Manny, uh, you know, animation goes back to the beginning of film, uh, uh, but the live action mix with animation doesn't go back that far, does it? What's the, what would be the first example? Or an of early that? example. Well, I think that the, I think the earliest would be the Fantasia, although I, I still contend that the use of Mar Marge Champion in 1937 for, um, 
for the Snow White is really where it all starts. Yeah. I think that's where you get the idea. Well, you know, she plays so well opposite the character that we're creating around her. Why don't we just put them side by side? Interesting. And all of a sudden, that seems to fit. And yeah. I think so. I think it begins in 37. And you know what? It could have been earlier. They might have had uh, moments where they, they place these characters with the actors. But, you know, what ends up happening, if you watched a number of Academy Awards throughout the years, sometimes when they gave out the Best Animation uh, Award, out would pop out these animated characters. I mean, real anim. I'm not talking about people right. dressed up in, in costumes. Right. But they would be delivering the award for, for Best Animation. And there's Mickey Mouse or, you know. Yeah. Now, yeah. another landmark animated uh, live action uh, combination is uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Well, that's a more modern. And that, that to me is an Oscar winning combination. Yeah. Mm. Those, that, that, that had every, every, uh, uh, you know, uh, cartoon character in the book playing opposite Bob Hoskins. Right. And they, uh, and they, they, they almost uh, positioned it as to, we want you to sp suspend belief in that these are really people working as opposed sure. to, well, here's an animated cartoon and here's yeah. a human being. They they sort yeah. of they, they have made the assumption that these were just two different characters playing roles. It was really kind right. of amazing. Yeah, and they were if, called and they if, were called tunes. They were the tunes and they lived yeah. in Toontown. Right. And <laughs> and if you recall, uh, uh, the whole Jessica Rabbit thing was really turning the mix of live and animation on its head. Right. Mm -hmm. Because instead of the animals coming into a real live picture, dancing with Gene Kelly or somebody like that, um, Bob Hoskins, the real right. life people, goes into the world of animation. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly and, right. And so that was, I think that was, at the time, that was very unique for uh, the mix of live and, and animation. That was iconic, and I believe that uh, if they didn't win an Oscar, they were surely nominated for an Oscar for, for yeah. that wonderful uh, concept. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, another one that I, I have to mention is lovely Amy Adams in Enchanted. Oh, oh. that was another one that was just so much fun. <laughs> um, and and basically fun. just kind of kind of playing and mocking a little bit that whole idea of being in a in a lovely fairy tale, except yes. in real life. And of course, she has her friend who is the animated animal. Uh, I think yeah. it's a gerbil. I don't know what it is. But anyway. Well, she she does this, this uh, there's this fabulous scene in Enchanted. It's a, it's a mockery of Snow White dancing around, <laughs> decorating with the birds carrying the, the fabric. And mm. it's just so wonderful. And the music, and you know, with all good animation, um, it, the music really adds to it. I mean, you get yeah. the, you get these wonderful uh, tunes that are Sherman Brothers esque. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they're just they're just so fabulous. There's one other I want to mention too, although they didn't use as much animation. It, it surely didn't hurt that you have such an animated star, and that is the film Mask with Jim Carrey. Um, they did have moments of animation that went with like, you know, when he would get excited or, you know, yeah. his face would, would grow and he'd just, he'd, he'd do so many wonderful things. You don't know where the animation ends. I was going to say that Jim with Jim Carrey, yeah. you didn't, if they didn't have animation at all, you, it would have worked the same way <laughs> because he, he is so rubbery. <laughs> It is safe, so it was really a He's wonderful very, combination. Yeah, that's a good way to put that, it. That was, that was to, to my mind, that was really more special effects. I mean, it was animation. Yeah. But it was more using animation as a special effects. Right, right, right. No, yeah. You know, and I think that this is something in the digital age we're going to just see more and more of. I, I don't think this is going to go away. I think more of this is going to happen. Well. And I think it's going to happen in subtle ways. Oh, what? Um, forgive me for not being remember. Avatar is that oh, yeah. the name of the movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Avatar. You know that's a perfect example of modern version of animation, animation or live action. Absolutely, I think we're seeing a lot more of that than. But you know, it's kind of it's do. kind of interesting that um, there was talk uh, maybe uh, 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 as recently as a decade ago of uh, getting a fully animated. Uh, 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 animation 
that would replace actors and actresses totally. That never came up well, about and won't. But the what they've done, they've come so far that when they populate uh, in a crude way the uh, uh, the people on the Titanic, okay, or large crowds, uh, they get a spattering of real people, and then they just duplicate them all over the place and change a yeah. few things here and there. Well, me, but they're getting much you, more realistic. Me, let me leave you with this. There is an absolute opportunity for um, films to start showing characters in a in a hologram way, which is which is a form of animation if you think about it, so that you will see James Dean in a new movie. And that sounds promising and fun, but let me just tell you something. The actors and the Screen Actors Guild doesn't like that because it takes away work from a real live actor. So that is, that's a form of animation that's on the horizon. They're already talking about the film with James Dean as a co-star in a hologram version. And if that's the way an, animation is going with live action, I'm going to tell you they're going to get a battle from the Screen Actors Guild. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, one last thought, guys, and that is that uh, with the digital age, the word animation takes on a new meaning. Mm. Um, you know, it, you still have animators, you still have artists, you still have people rendering this effect, if you will. Um, but it's not oil on uh, on clear, see-through plastic anymore. No, uh, no. It, it's it's digital animation. Yeah, and and that does change things. And and it's yeah. getting and some of them are getting so good that they have obviously been doing fake commercials or uh, trying to get people to uh, say uh, uh, JFK to have uh, made a speech that he didn't make. Uh, but you'd swear, yeah. because of the way they've done it, that it was he. Yeah. And then unless you really understand uh, digital animation, uh, it's getting hard to tell. So it's going to be an interesting new world that we're into. So, But we'll have you back in five or 10 years, Manny. And uh, John, because you're the keeper of the agenda, would you write down in about eight years we should check with yeah. Manny to see. Eight years is my tickle file to bring Manny back at 10. Oh, now. oh okay. got it. tickle me Elmo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, thanks. Great uh, great trip through uh, animation history. Yes, thank you for allowing me that opportunity. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.